So yeah, paprika. Excellent fucking anime. Yeah, it was a really, really good Excellent anime. Excellent movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, oh, uh, shoot. So, I don't think there's really anything we can say that's going to spoil the story because the story itself is, um, it's a simple like who done it detective story. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. It's it's a it's a like. A smash and grab happens, and they have to go recover a device yeah. type thing. It yeah. just so happens that the, that device, the MacGuffin, is a uh, device that allows people to dive into each other's dreams that is being used to, like, help people with severe mental health issues. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, exactly. Yeah. And, like, yeah, it allows you to, what I guess, record dreams almost, or yeah. like affect others if you're in the same dream as them. Yeah, you can you can dive into it. Yeah, yeah very much like Inception. Yeah, exactly, bro. It felt like yeah, except for Inception came out in two thousand eight, nine ish, and I think nine, yeah, the manga came out in ninety three. Yeah, so Inception might have been might have this manga. And <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a there's clear. Let's get say homages, sure to Paprika yeah. with an Inception, like oh fuck yeah yeah I mean as far as like the yeah, mind bendingness of it like the 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 uh, the gunfight in in the hallway scene kind of yes, stuff the totally the geometry of the city folding on itself and folding on its yeah, yeah totally all of those things were in this anime now the anime is um. Or the, yeah, the OVA, the the anime, is basically. It's there's two forms of storytelling here. I mean, the director of the movie was a genius. He he was really was a genius of his animation, but he only got like five or six movies out before he died of a cancer, I believe. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. So uh, the um anyway, and I truly do apologize. I do not remember the director's nor the manga writer's name. Let me go ahead and look that up. Real yeah, quick. Dude. I'll just put it here. Yeah, so yeah, there we go. Um, anyway, uh, the mind-bendingness of this movie is kind of the point. It's kind of a dream world. Yeah, totally. So what's going on is that somebody has stolen it and is basically mind... I can't think of a better word than yeah, a mind melding. No, it's maybe mel melding would imply that the other person still has some sort of like autonomy. Right. Because basically he's driving people into a dream state and then killing them almost with like through suicide. Right, through suicide like, or augmenting other means, their yeah. reality enough to where their consciousness thinks that there's still a road in front of them and it could be a cliff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's he's definitely being a social terrorist. Yeah, he's a social terrorist, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um and mind hacking? Mind hacking, there we Hijacking? go. Hijacking? Mind hijacking. Yeah, yeah, he's like hijacking their consciousness. Yeah, absolutely hijacking their consciousness through their dreams. So um, what he's doing, the, the universal like effect within the dream world is that there's this weird parade. Yeah. That's marching through the dream world that people get pulled into. And the deeper into their own dreams and their own world and their own 
memories, I guess. Yeah. Um, they get, they slowly become part of this parade, becoming this car, these cartoonish figures that are basically look like toys. Yeah. And it's being led by this one creepy ass doll. <laughs> That's got like the full on like Dora the Explorer haircut and like yeah, kabuki like cute. pale skin and all that stuff. Yeah, she's like a china doll. Yeah. Porcelain. And porcelain doll, yeah. And and it's just creepy because this doll keeps on popping up and like the main character keeps on uh seeing it randomly pop up in her consciousness because she's one of the yeah. therapists. Yeah. And uh so anyway. <laughs> It's yeah. kind of hard to describe this movie. It's, it's Yeah, no, exactly. It's almost like, so the main character, the first therapist, scientist lady, um, they based a lot of like the archetype of the savior in the mm -hmm. dream world on her subconscious, it seems like. Yeah. So it's like that became, it, it felt like the Matrix, really. Yeah. That became her trinity ego when yeah. they're in the dream state. And it seems like she had a lot more control and power than everybody else because she was part of the, the base programmers and the creators right. of the thing. Yeah, and her alternative self, her dream self, is named Paprika, which is where the, where the uh, um, title comes from. Yeah, uh, and she's like can go in and out of other people's dreams and save them in a way to where like yeah. it seems like the parade is almost like an allegory for the base primal like wants or needs of the dreamer, or maybe it's their fears or something like that. Maybe, and then she comes in and can release them from those things, or like can break the dream like loop that they get stuck in. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. It's really trippy. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really trippy. And there's another character in it. Um, I think he's a police detective who I can't really tell if he's, is he alive or not? I, right. It seems like. Yeah, he could he could be Bruce Willis from The Sixth Sense. Who knows? Yeah, who like, knows? But like, it, it, it's I think it was pretty amb ambiguous whether or not he's alive or not. But he's a cop that's suicidal. Yeah, uh, for sure. Due to for a sure. uh, a tragedy where he shot the wrong person. So the a kid basically. Yeah, he shot a kid, uh, and basically is driving him to the edge. And I think either he's alive, and because of the investigation involving Paprika, she. Like, oh, says, oh, shit, <laughs> yeah. like, that guy's sick and he needs help. Uh, but all of this is, is told in very sci-fi ways in the sense that it's not clear what they're saying. They know what they're saying to each other, but yep. it, you still have to sit there and translate what they're saying because it's in that future speak kind of lingo. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. So it's, it, it's definitely going to have to be a rewatch. Yeah, dude. There's Yeah, there's so many details, I'm sure, that we're getting lost in there, too. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. like the animation alone has so much going on visually in it. Yeah. It's hard to pick up. Yeah, it's hard to follow sometimes because there's so much to see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, it helped that we were watching it in like 4K. Yeah, exactly. 4K <laughs> on a 65 inch screen. Yeah. You know? yeah like, it's you, like that does help a little bit. <laughs> it helps a little bit. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah, it uh, was cool. Man. There's like, another character, um, the inventor of the yeah, device, Katsu. Katsu, yeah, uh, who is a man child. Uh, basically, he's an otaku um, who is so obsessed with his own genius and his own imagination that he's completely ostracized himself from civilization. Mm. And he's yep. just obsessed with his toys and afraid to face the real world. Um, and. <laughs> He's damn near useless. Yeah, just about. I mean, beyond like Bes beyond being able brain. to make the th yeah, yeah exactly. besides his brain, he'll he'll like come up with solutions. Yeah, quite but easily, he's but he bumbling cannot and he needs help and everything, and yeah. he's like the classic like like fucking man child. Yeah, yeah, yeah literally. Yeah, literally. He's he was comic relief for me. He was yeah. like, yeah, that character that it's like, oh, he's trying. <laughs> 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 uh yeah but yeah no he's he's an interesting archetype mm -hmm. like yeah the genius that's incapable in other areas they're just absolutely inept yeah like i think nowadays we might call him autistic yeah maybe huh maybe uh, yeah but i it's not quite that level he's just uh failure to start more than, than yeah seems like no a disability. exactly yeah exactly he, like yeah 
he got such a high level of skill in like one thing so early probably yeah. that he never had to grow out of the phase of of the toys and the phase of like yeah having to be a real a real functioning adult in society right he got swooped up and he got put in labs and he got put in rooms where they're like hey okay do math make stuff yeah and well don't do that <laughs> yeah don't do that to people yes yeah. um, <laughs> failure to launch for sure yeah absolutely failure to launch uh, but he becomes a central core of the main character's like emotional distress because yeah. of her love, I guess. That's the power of love. I think so. Like it's yeah. yeah. She, I think she takes on the responsibility of of him. Yeah. You know, like she's like, okay, I have to protect this beautiful mind because it can't protect itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, I'm sure, bro. I'm sure there's some like other cultural Japanese thing that we don't understand about it. Of yeah, like, yeah, like the, like like the uh, maybe like the mentor mentee kind of situation. Yeah, or maybe exactly, like, something like that. Maybe a protective I don't older um, older sister. Older sister. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Of like, I got to make sure this person's all right, type thing. Yeah, I mean, like we. Yeah, I, I think that's kind of what it was because, like, uh, you're right. J Japanese has a different many different words to explain the concept of love where we just like, yeah, we like just what type love. of love? Yeah. Exactly. What type of love? Yeah. The love of the love towards a, uh, yeah. Towards an apprentice from a mentor. All right. It may be that. And maybe it's coming from the other care, another character in there, the older doctor, mm -hmm. like the glasses doctor. He was really funny. Yeah, yeah. That's what discipline brings. Even the five court ladies dancing to frog flutes and drums had it. And so did the whirlwind of recycled paper. He's kind of like the the mad scientist of let's push it and see how far we can go. And yeah. I don't care about the limits and fuck the world. We don't have to check ourselves. We yeah. have to find out if we can make the thing first. Yeah, and the main character is trying to uh, balance all of these worlds between this man child that needs to be taken care of. Yeah, totally. Her her, uh, her colleague who is almost sociopathic in his willingness to uh, um, experiment on humans. Yeah. And her boss, who is this stone cold emotionalist capitalist, that uh, yeah, 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 he's like yeah, he's he's the villain for sure, like an antagonist. Yeah, yeah absolutely, for sure. Question. But with like the best motive. Yeah, <laughs> he's like this technology is too dangerous. I'm shutting it down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then he makes sure that he finds a way to shut it down. Like yeah, it's. Fuck. It's again, again. This movie is like a Kira level. Like, what's going on? Have you seen the movie Akira? I've gotten through the first ten minute motorcycle scene, and then I walk away. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, yeah. They start talking, and it's dialogue, and I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah. I, I have to sit down and give it a fair try again. No, it, it's it's pretty good. Um, it's just another one of those mind bending mind fuck movies where Sick. it's like, yeah, I, from Rick and Morty, I can assume it turns into one of those Akira flesh monsters. So who knows? <laughs> I mean, the, the ending of the movie is pretty iconic. So like, yeah, yeah. You, you, there's definitely things you're going to like, you'd see rip out, uh, have ripped it off and all that other kind of stuff. No, totally. But the, the how and why they get to that point is important. It, probably is baffling. It's 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 incredibly difficult to like it to like I had to watch it like four or five times before I finally understood the story it was trying to tell. Okay. But also keep in mind that it's like trying to jam pack like a forty to fifty uh, issue manga down into two hours. Oh Jesus! Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Good yeah, luck. Yeah. Fuck. That would have been a great opportunity if it was made now for a uh, multi season uh, or just anime. one season even. Yeah, one full season. One one really good season right. of Akira. Ten episodes probably... of an hour and a half each. Yeah, something I'd like watch that. watch it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fucking Absolutely. Hey, that would be sick. Uh, but anyway, back to... But yeah, this movie was very much in that same trippy lane, it seemed like. Yeah. Yeah, like... Very much like a uh, mother. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna definitely. Need to it's, yeah, it's, it's a movie that, like, it dares you to think about it. And yeah. it's like, hey, we're going to say some shit, and you might not catch it all. Mm -hmm. But if you dedicate some time, you're going to start to get the picture. Right. And that's fucking cool. That's art. <laughs> yeah. It really is truly art. Like, yeah. It, even every single frame of that movie, you could literally throw up on a wall. Oh, yeah. 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 You can make a print out of any frame, dude. Yeah. Like, and they did something interesting for like 07. It seems like um, they mixed a lot of like 3D assets into the world and in the backgrounds. Mm -hmm. So then they could take the computer and pinch and warp and 
really play with like the geometry in a different way that made it seem like more um uh surreal uh surreal basically yeah yeah yeah, it's super, super surreal. <laughs> yeah, this movie is absolutely surreal. Like, uh, Salvador Dali would have been impressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. <laughs> if, he, if he could have been pulled out of his own ego. Anyway, and with go, that see note, paprika. go see Paprika. Go see Paprika. Solid. <laughs> that was good. Oh, would you would you give it a, um, uh, what's your number rating on it? I can't tell. Ooh, okay. And the reason why I can't tell is because I can't tell if I should give it like an eight or a 10, like, or anything in between. It's yeah. it's one of those I'm going to have to re- rewatch because it like, it, it's at least an eight. That's an, yeah, yeah. High 7.9, seven and a half. And yeah. Le- yeah. It, w- on on first area. watch. Mm-hmm. Like, and, it, and I have a feeling that the more I watch it, the better it's going to get. It's going to start unlocking. Yeah. 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 There's a reason the roommate has it on, on DVD. Yep. It's worth having a copy. Yep. Very cool. All right. Later, y'all. Thanks for hanging out and letting us talk about movies for a little bit.